I've got a friend, and you probably have one of these too, where if I'm going to call him, I need to book at least half an hour because he's just the kind of person who gets excited when he's talking and he never stops talking. And I really like him. I just need to make sure I've got the time to talk to him. Uh, He's an exciting guy, lots of energy, lots of enthusiasm. I love all that, but he never seems to stop or pause in his conversation. It's almost like a half hour monologue when I give him a call. Well, you know, I think about him sometimes and I compare that to the way I treat God when I talk to God. So often I treat prayer like a monologue, like it's just one way and he's got nothing to say in return. And as soon as I stop talking, I hang up the phone. Well, I don't know if that's good. I don't know if that's healthy. And if I really want to have God's input into my life, don't I need to provide some space for him to speak? So, This Sunday, we're going to look at listening prayers at Knox Midland. Um, What does it mean to stop and allow God to speak when we pray? How do we even do that? How do we keep our mind from wandering? We're going to explore in some real practical ways how to do listening prayer. It it won't be an in-depth study. There's so much more we can do, but it'll get us started in the right direction. So I hope that you can join us 1030 this Sunday for listening prayer at Knox Midland. Of course, there's childcare, hot coffee, friendly people. It's Christ-centered, scriptural. We, We just have a great time at Knox. We hope you can join us at the corner of First and Hugel in Midland.